Thank you, Chair, and thank you to the European Court of Auditors for uh, the report and all the work that uh, they have gone through. Also to the rapporteur for his very clear conclusions, many of which I agree with. I would like to refer first to the pre-financing and financial instruments chapter. Uh, the Commission has made a restatement of the accounts in relation to 2009, where all these advances are now reclassified into assets. Uh, for me, this puts into question the reliability of the accounts of the prior, prior years, because we were judging that those were expenditure that the auditors had reviewed and had established an error rate, whereas, in fact, those were advances where the European Court of Auditors could not establish any uh, error rate because they haven't included this in the sample. So I am quite worried now that we have been considering uh, that the accounts were reliable and we consider the accounts reliable today, whereas, you know, we were confusing expenditure with assets or assets with expenditure. Prefinancing amounts to 50% of the assets of the European Union as a whole. So I think this is a significant amount and has to have a significant impact in the reliability of the accounts. The Court of Auditors this time, as many people have mentioned, uh, have criticizes or refers to this in various points uh, in the report, but doesn't conclude that this renders the accounts unreliable. The second point I would like to refer to is uh, cohesion funds. One third of the budget is cohesion funds and is affected by 50% error rate, really, because 50% of the sample has been uh, affected by error. But again, uh, the European Court of Auditors does not tell us what is the, the error, what is the materiality, what is the essence of the error, because then we start the discussion if there is fraud or if there isn't fraud. And unless the European Court of Auditors bluntly states the kind of errors we have. It's very difficult for us to uh, evaluate the importance of those errors. The other thing that has been introduced in this uh, year's report, and which I find very important, is the differentiation between recoveries and financial corrections. I think many people don't know what the difference is, and I think it's very important. Uh, recoveries are uh, those funds that we take back from beneficiaries, but financial corrections end up costing more money to taxpayers. And this is very important for people to know. We don't have the size of the financial corrections or of the recoveries, and we don't know exactly um, you know, what is the percentage in relation to one another. I think it is important that we have financial corrections and recoveries, but I think it is important that we have a more preventing action, that this doesn't happen. And the prevention starts when the uh, money is released by the Commission to those member states. It's very easy now to uh, blame member states, but we have to remember that it's not member states that put the money into the European Union. It is taxpayers in member states who put the money into the European Union. And frankly, these people don't care if it is Ireland or Spain or Italy or France. They want their money to be properly spent. And somebody has to have the responsibility to uh, make sure that the money goes to the right person for the right purpose. And if there is no central responsibility for this, we will never get Could you conclude? This. Well, I want to conclude by saying what has been already mentioned, that this is very important in the light of this crisis. And in the light of this crisis, I want to ask, where have the 60 billion paid to Greece gone? Because Greece is never mentioned in the reports, but 60 billion euros have gone to Greece since uh, they came into the Eurozone, 80 billion have gone to Italy, 130 have gone to Spain. This never appears in the European Court of Auditors report. 
And this is very important because we are where we are because this okay, money you, was not properly spent. Once spent. again, could I ask you to conclude? Thank you. Thank you.